When I was a little boy, I was always amazed at how my father would get up every morning before the sun and would get home late after it went down. I never heard him complain, I never saw him falter. As I grew older, I strove to emulate his work ethic and dedication. I always assumed that this was an ability to go further and work harder was because of something deep inside of him I simply did not possess, something in his soul richer than mine. Funnily, it wasn't until I met Jana that I began to understand what motivated him. It was love, unconditional, irrepressible, unstoppable love. It wasn't until I met Jana that I felt and understood the kind of love that made you want to commit your entire existence to something and someone else. Whenever I feel tired, knowing she's behind me gives me strength. Whenever I feel doubt, knowing she's next to me gives me courage. Whenever I feel sadness or pain, feeling her arms around me brings me peace. Whenever I hear her say, you got it, baby. <laughs> I always feel like I do. There's no way I could have dreamed you up, Josh. All the visualizing, list making, and dreaming couldn't alone give him the gift of you. So I like to think that it must be something else. I like to think it must be God. Only the hand of God can send me a man so kind, so loving, and so perfect for me. A man who laughs at all my bad jokes, <laughs> <They're funny. laughs> gets my ridiculous science humor, and embraces my offbeat quirkiness. No, but seriously, <laughs> only the hand of God could have made me a blessing so grand. I struggled my whole life to feel okay, accepted, and loved for being who I am. That struggle went past friends and family. That struggle, a lot of times, was with me. But with you, Josh, from the moment we first met, all you asked was for me to be me. I am so happy God chose me for you. I love you, Joshi Poo.